Hello folks, you were asking for a walkthrough and unfortunately the last one I did lasted way too long. So this is the front of our shop. This is our little world here. So, and that is the truck that Mr. Muck would like. <laughs> we're getting ready uh, to do the car boot sale which will take place on the 22nd of May and that'll be out in this field here. And then we will have um, trucks and cars and all kinds of stuff over here and over here and then uh, parking next to us on the other side here. So it's a great place for things like that. It's wonderful. We love it here, we love it here. Here is entering the shop. I wanted to do this so you guys kind of get the feeling of uh, visiting the shop and seeing what's here. I'm not gonna stop and do a lot of details, but Pat Pat, say hi. Hello. <laughs> the front of the shop is uh, mostly my stuff. A lot of the furniture here that you see, my Uncle Bill made, who I always talk about. Um, he's no longer with us, but I will always love him and that's the furniture he made that I am in the process of selling for my aunt and my uncle's estate. So we've got a lot of uh, eye cups there. They range anywhere from $4 to $15. And this is, like I said, mostly my section here. I do have things in the back as well. Um, a little bit of everything. This is a whole false craft collection that I purchased. Um, so I got the whole thing. I've got all the dishes, salad bowl, everything. That's all there. Some cobalt glass. This is all crystal, all crystal glasses. And these are uh, Nachtman. Nachtman, there you go. All right. And I've got all kinds of mid-century wear there. Blendo, a little bit of everything. This is usually where I put the crystal in here. This is our better jewelry in this case. So it's gonna be sterling silver and I do a little bit of gold too. I have some of it put away because we're closed today. All types of cameras, camera equipment, um, the older stuff, the newer stuff. We got some of that. This is all of our Lennox. Little bit of other things there too, but that's where I keep the Lennox. I've got a really nice Black Forest cuckoo clock that works perfectly, no problems there. These are all form of Vitrum houses and they all light up. They're all uh, stained glass, very, very pretty. Uh, this is what I have left of these Swarovski figurines. All right, so these are better crystal in here. There's a little bit of everything, but uh, if you know our prices, you know that it's not crazy high. Or fours there. There's an or fours uh, bowl for twenty dollars to give you an idea. And I do believe it comes with the box. So there's our masks. We just got gray and green, and we're actually ordering some more. We'll get those in. This guy has been with me since the get go. I got him years and years ago when I first started in the business and um, promised I'd have him in my antique shop and, and that I have. This is a little messy right now, but this is where our penny candy is. I keep everything here and that's my cash register. And these are crystals. Got all types of crystals in there and we'll be doing that very shortly so you guys can, can pick through there. If there's anything you would like, let me know. These are the lamps, the fluorite lamps. They're $85 a piece. All right. And then this area over here, this is Chris. He does watches, all kinds of watches here. I've, I've shown you his stuff in the past. Um, these are Baccarat lamp, lamps. Uh, so these are antique Baccarat, same people that make crystal lamps. So I've got two of those available. This is mostly items that we have on eBay. Um, these are Waterford crystal glasses. 
some more up here. So what we do is we sell them on eBay. If you buy them in the shop, they're less expensive. This is a Yadro Nativity set, also on eBay now. All right. We have our costume jewelry over here. And over here is a mess right now because it's where I have everything. <laughs> I don't have anywhere else to put stuff. This is a Capa de Monte tea set. Very, very pretty piece. And these are all uh, bottles that were re upcycled, I'll say not recycled, but upcycled into different uh, lamps. And we had hummingbird feeders, I think we one of those. This is usually where I put my like kid type stuff, toys, things of that nature. And then this whole window is all different kinds of glass. I've got a couple cast iron pieces there. So I've got a bunch of uh, pens right now. And then I also got a bunch of Pyrex just in. So I've got some of that. This is our, I don't have it lit up right now, but this is our coin cabinet. So some of the coins aren't in there right now. I have them in the safe. I've got some bottles in that really cool antique display. So that's the front of the shop. Oops, let me walk you through. And then much more this way. Go down the hallway. We've got, of course, artwork on the walls here. And then you make a right and you're in Barbara. It's more Wendy than Karen now, but Barbara and Wendy. Um, Karen is helping out her son now, so she uh, is not in the shop as much and we miss her. So this is Wendy's section. We'll be doing uh, Wendy and Barbara pretty soon. But if there's anything you see, you can pause and then give me a call and let me know. And I can certainly see what the price is for you. And we can go from there. Again, this is, this is all Wendy on this side. Like I said, I'm trying to go a little faster only because look at that. Isn't that cool? Only $30 for that. Signed and numbered. Um, because the last one I did was like almost an hour long. So lots of Vaseline glass here, uranium glass, and yes, it does glow. All right, all kinds of goodies here. That's pretty too, cross stitch. So if there's something that uh, suits your fancy, just send me a message and I'll be happy to get the price for you, let you know, and, and you can buy it that way. These are some pieces that Barbara has. Pretty glass. These are the Friendly Village glasses here. Really pretty paperweight. And Murano glass. I'm sorry I'm not giving prices on everything, but I'm just trying to give you guys a good overview so you kind of know what's here. I want to give you the feeling, like I said, that um, you're stopping into the shop. And that was the whole idea. And that's why we started the virtual shows and the virtual shopping. Uh, there's some jadeite there to give everyone the opportunity that couldn't come out because of COVID. And if you are not in the area and you can't shop here, I wanted to give you the chance to shop here at the estate shop so a little bit of everything for you guys moosehead lodge not a lot of those around so that's pretty cool all kinds of uh, rolling pins there vintage card frame really pretty and if you're not familiar the our pricing here is a little different uh, my whole idea and i did this when i had estate sales is that we want to make sure it's affordable for everyone. Um, we, there, it's not necessary to charge high, high prices for antiques. It's all based on what we buy them for. And we're very careful to try to buy things and uh, get them affordable enough that we're not 
having to charge crazy amounts of money for them. And we want things to change here all the time. When you have an antique or a co-op and you charge too high of prices, every time you come in, and it could be six months later, you'll see the same stuff. So that's what we were trying to stay away from. And hopefully we've accomplished that here for you. So that's the idea. All right. This is D space or you know her as Valerie on uh, online. She's always there as Valerie. Look at the Winnie the Pooh, it's so cute. If I had a space for it, that'd be coming home with me. So she's got quite a bit here, all kinds of goodies. All right. All kinds of stuff for you guys. And this is John and Jane. Very, very sweet couple who has been here a long time with us. There you go. That's our little sign I made for him. Look at that Tonka. Isn't that nice? So John and Jane always have a lot of uh, model cars, uh, plushies, cast iron. You just never know. They always bring a lot of goodies in for you guys. I love that. I don't know why. I just do. I've got some uh, Lemoore uh, prints. I also I have some others that are really cool, but uh, this is Joanne Space H. Where I put, oh, there's Joanne's sign. Ooh. See, cause she's so blingy and shiny. So Joanne's got a whole room here. And if you've seen on Wednesdays, she's got everything you can imagine. All kinds of goodies. Look at those little kitties. Isn't that cute? All kinds of little stuff. Um, all kinds of pretty stuff. Like Joanne, so pretty. She's got a little curio cabinet filled with glassware. We've got some linens, some purses, pretty wedding dress there, dream catcher. She's got all kinds of vintage hats. And then look at all this glassware, bar set, crystal, all kinds of goodies here. Salt and pepper sets, Savan, she's got a Savan and her prices are phenomenal. I mean, everybody's prices are great, but Joanne has really, really uh, got some great prices. I mean, the idea, like I said, is that if we can get things less expensive, even if they sell on eBay for crazy money, why bump it up to that amount if we can uh, afford to sell it for less? We're happy to do it for you. That double hat case there. Some banners. And some cars, all kinds of stuff in here, some models. All right, I'm trying really hard not to spend an hour, but <laughs> it's hard. Um, this is Tracy and Susan space. Uh, one of their spaces, they actually have two of them. They just got in um, all these Hagen Dunneker miniatures. Hi. My hair's all messed up because I was out in the wind. I wore my boots today to drive my bike home, but we'll see if that happens. It's a little chilly now. All right, so that's Tracy and Susan. All right. Next, we do the paper pats. All right, so back to Paper Pat's room. She has a couple spaces as well, but she is stock full. She's not a stock fool, she's stock fool. Look, see my bubble tea? With my little tapioca bubbles. These are pretty good. You kinda, you get a snack with your tea. I'm thirsty. Mm -mm -mm. Paper fat has some blend new too. So she always has tons to say. You can spend an hour just in here. Lots of ephemera, 
That's why we call her Paper Pat. Sorry, I'm chewing on my tapioca. Little mini things in there, some jewelry. You know, when we do Paper Pat's room, it's uh, it takes us a while. She's got all kinds of stuff here. Some more jewelry. Oops. Some molds. These doggy and irons are gorgeous. Mirror. All kinds of stuff. Hard to take it all in, isn't it? <laughs> like I said, I could do an hour just in here. She's got all kinds of uh, linens and buttons and all that kind of stuff as well. This is cool, Union Pacific. This is a lithograph of a Union Pacific train, $36 on that, which I think is fantastic. A lot of you don't know this, but uh, Miss Paper Pat is, uh, or was, an art history major, I believe. I hope I have that right. So she's the one I go to when I have art that I don't know what to do with it or how to uh, identify it. She's my gal. That, I'm surprised that's still here. Little handmade carousel, I think that's adorable. So all kinds of goodies in here. Like I said, I, I could be an hour just in here. She's got all this here. Look at this. Spring Dance and Frolic at the Monarch Athletic Club. Casino Hall. Very, very cool. So lots to see here. And then she also has the uh, books here. She's got a whole section of just books. Uh, vintage books, antique books, newer books, uh, postcards. There's That one has tons of postcards in it. That's all postcards in there. So she's got plenty of those. I want to make sure, I don't know if I showed everything with Tracy and Susan's because I had to stop real quick. But uh, my bubble tea is not for sale. So lots to see there. Let me get my goodie. Okay, and then this is when you walk into the back of the shop. Uh, these, all these bottles are mine. This display case is mine. This antique display case I gotta fill up. Old scale. That's my Victrola. I love my Victrola. I'll do a separate video and I'll play some music on there. There's some of my marbles and another antique display. And then this is Dave's section. It's a little empty because we just did him uh, when two Wednesdays ago. Dave is always good for albums. He's always got a lot of uh, classic rock albums. That's kind of his thing. So also lots of matchbox cars. And Dave's a fisherman. And he is also on TikTok. So, so Dave always has a little bit of everything. Uh, so if you ever do a Wednesday with Dave, you will always find some goodies. I promise you that. All right. Then we come over here, Debbie and Gary. This is one of their spaces. We are, we are full. We have um, no spaces available right now. Uh, the ones that did pop up, we gave first dibs to our current vendors. So they took additional spaces here. Uh, we've been really, really fortunate that we've done well even through the whole uh, pandemic thingy. So uh, our vendors have actually taken additional spaces. I'm hoping to open one more up for somebody and we hope to do that in the next week or so. Other than that, I got nothing. Some fishing rods and reels. Debbie and Gary always have a little bit of everything too. Uh, you never know what you're gonna find here. They do clean outs for us and uh, for our friends at Treasure Me Estates, Michelle and Billy. 
who are very good people. If you ever need an estate liquidation done, uh, we do them once in a while for people we know, but um, we kind of backed off of them. But uh, Billy's group is really, really good. This is Frank and Walt. They specialize mostly in art. So they have a little bit of everything here. They're away in Florida right now, so they'll be back to uh, restock. That's a Wallace Nutting. If you ever want a Wallace Nutting, you just want a little one there, it's uh, $15. Just to say you have one, there's another Wallace Nutting. Some really nice uh, things that they have. Gives you kind of turn of the century, early 1900s feel on some of this. Some needlepoint. Some little Asian flair there. All right, so if you're interested in any of these pieces, or if you see something you'd like a better picture of, let me know. I'll come back over and, and do it again so you guys can see. Like I said, I'm just trying to get through a little quicker. This is uh, Luann Space. And I gotta, I gotta make her a little sign, but I gotta do a horsey on it. Uh, Luann hasn't been in, um, she, she's got like a million balls in the air, so she doesn't uh, get to come in as much as she'd like to. So uh, when she does, boy, she has some neat stuff. And uh, there's some neat stuff in here now. So if there's anything you see, let me know. Some saws. That's a Monopoly train set back there. We've got the carriage. Really cool stuff. She, she's a good picker. Knows her stuff, she's got a good eye. All right, and this is Pepper and Junebug Space. And again, we uh, we did them a couple weeks ago, so you guys got to see most of it, but doesn't take long for Pepper to get in here and get things stocked again. So there's plenty here for you. Look how nice that is, that lantern, isn't that pretty? They electrified it. Brass, really, really pretty piece. So, again, they always have a little bit of everything. Miniatures, all kinds of stuff. Um, there's a little puppet. Mannequin, not a mannequin. What's that called? I'm close, I'll think of it. Um, G-Mug just brought in a bunch of CDs. Think of it. You guys are going to type it now, but it's not like when it's live and I forget something. <laughs> you can't tell me right away. Look at this. How cool is this? Wooden box. Wait a minute. I got to turn this so you guys. Look at the top of it. Painted. How cool is that? $19 for that. All kinds of vintage tools. Ephemera. There's a little bit of jewelry. So, all kinds of goodies for you guys here. All right. Come around the corner here. Speed bump ahead. And this is Gary and Debbie's other space. They do mostly uh, furniture here. So, that's kind of what they needed. They didn't have enough room for uh, the bigger pieces. So, just to give you an idea, this little table here, let me get a better picture. $10 for that. Where are you going to go in a shop and find that for $10? Not going to happen. Very, very pretty pieces here. So, and usually when you guys ask me for a specific piece of furniture and you're local, that's who I call is Debbie and Gary. This is actually an upside down toolbox, but it's a towel hanger. So you've got a shelf and a towel hanger that they made out of that. Isn't that cute? Very, very cute. This is my mess right now. I'm gonna, this is all gonna get changed around. All that furniture is gonna go out and then that space will eventually be empty. 
This is Bob's section. We just did uh, Bob a couple weeks ago. And he's already pretty much gotten more goodies in here. Look at that Christmas tray. All kinds of goodies in here too. And again, it's I don't really have anyone here who that I can think of other than Chris with the watches. Most people here have a little bit of everything. So you never know what you're gonna find, which is cool. You know, that's the way I like it. So, has trucks, has glasses, all kinds of goodies here. All right, so let me know if you see anything there. These are my uh, records. I got a pretty big collection of rock albums. So if there's something you're looking for, let me know. I've got that sign there. Nice enamel painted sign. That's actually the top of a table, like a kid's play table, but I think it makes a really cool wall hanging. All right. So again, this is um, my space over here. Does that look familiar? <laughs> Fred Flintstone. So I'm gonna be changing this all around and moving things over and uh, we'll fix that up and make it all purdy. So, I, all right. This is Susan and Tracy's other space. I told you they, they took on another space. This is them. So this is part two. And again, they, they're the ones that usually have uh, Disney. They've got a lot of miniatures. So you never know what you're gonna find here either. And things change constantly, almost daily here, which is really different. And I think kind of cool, it keeps things interesting, you know. I don't have music in the background because uh, YouTube will say, no, Kimmy, you can't do that. Look at that, how cool is that? Very neat, very neat. All kinds of little license plates, salt and pepper. All right, all kinds of goodies there. And then we go over here, and we just did these spaces last week. Um, this is Kelly's space here, and she hasn't been in since we did her space, so it looks a little empty, but um, Kelly's pretty good for mid-century, and if you're looking for any type of uh, clothing, like vintage clothing, she may not have it here, but she's a good one to ask. If you guys are looking for something, let me know, and I can certainly ask her if she has something available for you. All right, and we did part of this the other night. This is Amy. Like I said, I don't have everybody signed yet. That's Amy, she's a realtor, so she gets a little house. And we will finish Amy this week, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Amy had the cool Pyrex, and look at all those salt and pepper shakers. Holy moly. All kinds of stuff here. So I'm not gonna do a lot of Amy because we got Amy coming up on Wednesday. So you guys can watch the Hump Day Happy Hour show and we'll get all that in for you. Some things that uh, were here on Wednesday have already sold, so it <laughs> didn't take long. And this is where I usually do the show. Right now I'm set up for eBay, taking photos and stuff, but this is the auction table. And then I stand right around there and Papat sits at the table right there. So I'm gonna be doing eBay tomorrow, so it's set up for that. This is also my space. This is my kitchenware. And hopefully we'll be doing this on Wednesday too, if I can get through everything. So again, I'll do this a little fast, but um, we got a lot here to show you guys. So hopefully we'll get to that <clears throat> this Wednesday for you. Look at that picnic basket, how cool is that? Neato, neato. All right, and this is Steph and Amanda. 
They're going to be probably next week. They've got quite a bit as well. So all kinds of stuff for you guys to choose from. So if you see anything you like, just, as I said, send me a message and say, you know, Kim, can you send me the price or more pictures on this item or that item? I'll be happy to do that for you. <clears throat> this has to be fixed up as well. This is what I call the man cave. And I have to go through there and kind of clean it up and put more stuff out. So that's the man cave. That'll be all fixed up soon. All right, so that's our little world. And um, we will be back Wednesday for hump day happy hour. If there's anything you guys saw, please send me a message, let me know. Bye, Pat-Bat. She can't hear me, she's got her headphones on. So if there's anything you see, let me know. I'd be happy to uh, grab it for you and I can ship it or put it away until you come pick it up and we can go from there, okay? So that's our little world, guys. Thank you for watching our walkthrough. We'll see you Wednesday. Anytime you wanna come see us, it is the Estate Shop 2149 Delcy Drive in beautiful downtown Franklinville, New Jersey. And we will see you later. Thanks, guys. Sweet Vintage Dreams.